Hi guys. First of all, congratulations on passing the UPCA and welcome to the University of the Philippines, Diliman. Despite the various challenges that we had faced, you managed to stand out among hundreds and thousands of applicants. So give yourselves a warm round of applause. Before we proceed, you may be wondering who we are. Well, I'm David. I am Yomi. And we are your representatives to the Engineering Freshie Council for the Department of Computer Science. So, what is CS like in UP Diliman? UPD's CS curriculum was recently revised in 2018. It mainly focuses on the fundamentals and core principles of computer science. Now, Yomi, what does this mean? Well, David, it means that CompSci and UPD doesn't have a particular specialization as with other universities like, say, the Ateneo that offers a specialized curriculum for game development or like LaSalle, which specializes in many aspects like computer security. So, if you're looking to graduate with a specialization attached to your degree, like, for example, Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, major in Network Technologies, sorry to say, you may have entered the wrong university. But, CompSci students still do get to experience a de facto specialization of sorts in the third year when you take CS198, 199, or 200 and join one of the eight research groups in the department. This is better explained by Mr. Carlos Pananima, also a computer science student in UPDCS, in his YouTube videos. So, you may want to check him out after watching this. Yeah guys, check him out. Okay, for your first year, you will most likely have to deal with majors such as CS10, CS11, and CS30 for the first semester, and CS12 and CS31 for the second semester. For CS10, or Introduction to Computing, it basically gives a background of the origins of computing and of the first few computer scientists. In college terms, they say it is very unknowable. CS11, or Computer Programming 1, is where you actually code. Our language at the time was Python, and we had lab exercises. Our final project was to make an interactive game. You're expected to have zero knowledge of coding, so to my fellow beginners out there, don't worry, it's not too hard. Next, CS30, or Discrete Mathematics for CS1, is one of the harder subjects mainly because Discrete Math generally isn't taught in high school, so almost everything is new knowledge. You're going to learn about propositional and predicate logic, relations, functions, and many types of groups. Now, for the second semester, CS12 comes after CS11, and it honestly was way harder. Upper batches dealt with Java and C++, but in our case, we had Pirate. It was challenging mostly because the only reference we had were our professor's lecture materials, so we couldn't as they say, stack overflow our way through the lab exercises. As with CS11, we had to make a simple egg toss game, and this was mine. Lastly, CS31, which comes after CS30, deals with more complex topics of discrete mathematics. It involves combinatorial proofs and permutations, but when you get to graph theory, the lessons become really fun. For CS orgs, we mainly have UP Cursor, ACM, and CSI. 
Currently, I am a member of UP Cursor, and we focus on socioeconomic endeavors that promote holistic development of computer science as a tool to solve real-world problems. For UPCSI, or UP Center for Student Innovation, it is a service-oriented organization aimed towards the enhancement of student learning by working with real-world software projects. And last but not the least, to talk about ACM, we invited our fellow batchmate, Melo. Hi, I'm Melo, and I'm an incoming second year student in computer science, and I'm a part of UPACM. So our organization is part of the largest international computing society, which is the Association for Computing Machinery, you know, which is in the name of our org. So what do we do? Well, as for me, I'm under the marketing department of our org. So I talk to big tech companies and we try to work out a partnership so that we can fund different events and provide opportunities for our members. So some of our partners we've had include Samsung, Navitaire, um, Expedoc, Course Hero, and a lot more that we've interacted with in the past. So some of the benefits we get include, you know, exclusive internships, and also, of course, lots of capital for our events and building connections and, you know, building close ties with these big tech companies. You know, recently we've secured a paid robotics internship with one of our partners, which is open to all members of our org. And that includes freshmen, of course. You know, that said, this is what I do as a marketing associate, but there are tons of others, uh, other committees which we have in our org. So, you know, if you're into publications, logistics, memberships, we have that for you. So, if you're interested, be sure to check us out when it's application season. Okay, that's it from me. Bye. It's no secret that computer science has a lot of opportunities. You can opt for software engineering, web development, network security, cryptography, and many, many more. But one misconception is that all careers only focus on coding, which isn't true. We know that being a freshman isn't a walk in the park. You're going to face a lot of new things, new people, new environments, and new cultures. It's going to be really hard, and you're going to reach a time when your doubts will overtake the trust that you have of your own abilities and skills. But do know that all of it is part of the process, the bigger picture, and we, your department representatives promise to guide you along every step of the way. Best of luck, Freshies! And of course, if you have any questions, concerns, or anything at all, feel free to communicate with us, whether in uh, Messenger, Discord, or other communication platforms. Feel free. Once again, I am David. And I am Yomi. We'll see you around. Mga bagong iskolar ng bayan.